Hey guys, Galusia here, and as promised today, I'm going to show you how to install Optifine. And Optifine uses a million different things. It's mostly for being able to do HD texture packs. And you might say, oh, well, there's other stuff that can do that, like MC Patcher. MC Patcher tends to have issues for some reason with Industrial Craft. And Optifine does a million other things that MC Patcher doesn't do. So that is why I use Optifine, so should you. So, there's a couple of different ways to do this. There's basically two main ones you can get. There's the, the latest is A7. I had A2, so clearly I'm behind the times. So, there's A7 Smooth and there's A7 Multi Core. If you have a multi core processor, you want the multi core version of Optifine. Because if you didn't know, Minecraft only lets you do. Uh, it only uses a single thread or a single core. So even if you have like an eight core processor, Minecraft is only using one of those cores to run Minecraft. It's a bit of a waste. And there's Minecraft can do so much more if you use all the cores. I already downloaded it, but obviously there's a download button. So, what the hell? And an ad came up when I tried to download it. So, uh, basically, what you're going to do is I have my Optifine thing right here. So I'm going to open that sucker up and wait for the message to come up and blah 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 but of course it popped up on the other screen but here it is see ooh so all you're gonna do is once again I got my minecraft shortcut here bin minecraft jar open with winrar boom okay so once again obviously you need winrar to do this everyone should have winrar if you don't then there's something deeply wrong with you okay so you're gonna highlight all the files in the Optifine folder and there's not a ton of them just grab all those throw them in there okay we're gonna close all this crap out on both screens you can't see it all be weird if I was recording both screens at once It'd be like super wide screen okay I'll log in all right so I'm going to jump into I'll jump into the world that we created that I knew to test industrial craft just because we're still testing. So we'll jump into there. Okay, here we are. Now, boom. Here's what you're going to do, okay? You're going to go into options. First of all, I'm going to lower all this because it's deafeningly loud. I usually keep it really low because of recording purposes. Okay, under your video settings is where all the Optifine magic is going to happen, okay? First of all, it gives you explanations, as you can see. So for that, you know, that makes it pretty un easy to understand. But I'm going to go through all these settings real quick for you. I have mine set to fancy, and, you know, I go as big as I can. For, ex for example, r uh, for the render distance, I go to, well, not as big as I can, but 96 is good. Um, I don't have to get crazy with it, but, well, hmm. What's the... How big does it go? Extreme. What is... Ex no, let, me, let me wait for this thing to pop back up. Okay, extreme is 512 meters. Far is 256 meters. Or 256 blocks. Because one block in Minecraft is a meter, if you didn't know that. That's pretty far. 256. That's kind of silly. So, I would say 100 blocks in any direction is good. So, I'll just go down to 112. Not that I can't... You know, I can handle it no problem, but whatever. Um... Next up would be the performance. Again, if you want to limit this, that helps you to not get crazy. Because uh, if it's set to no limit, I've I've been playing Minecraft before at hundreds and hundreds of frames per second. And that's not necessary. I keep mine on balance because 100, 120 frames per second is more than enough. Uh, smooth lighting, sure. Uh, we don't need that. That's that's if you have the weird, funny 3D glasses. View bombing, yeah. OpenGL, yeah. This I want. Um, this is what's going to make everything look... This is uh, used for blending, I believe. Uh, fine. Brightness. I turn that up just for recording purposes. It makes it easier for you guys to see. Uh, clouds, you can turn those off, and that'll be good for you that have trouble with it. Uh, let's see... Fog. All right, let's go into details. Here you can, this is where you can change a lot of things. And since I'm not using a texture pack right now, I actually am going to screw around with a lot of this. Um, so, for example, 
when you change the clouds to fancy, which everything should be defaulted to fancy. So if I leave it to default, it'll be fancy because I set everything to be fancy. So everything's at its highest possible setting. But for example, if you want clouds, but you need a little bit extra speed, set it to fast and it'll make the clouds 2D instead of 3D. So they won't be like blocks in the sky. They'll be like flat things in the sky or whatever. Um, grass set to fancy basically adds a added texture on the side and whatnot of the grass. Um, let's see, trees fancy, transparent leaves. Yeah, you can make the leaves solid so you can't see through them anymore. Um, same with the water. Uh, if you set it to fast, it has um, it loses like the uh, the lines and the waviness start to go away. You can turn rain off, which is pretty cool because rain can be annoying. But I leave it on. Stars on, skies on, blah blah blah. I keep all that stuff on. The show capes thing, if you actually donate to Optifine, they'll give you a special cape that you can that your character can wear, but it's only visible by other people that use Optifine. So if you're into capes, that's how you can get them. Jumping into quality is where we'll really start to get onto this. Um, the mitt mat is <clears throat> it this is for smoothing textures. So I'm gonna Turn this all the way up because I can. And mitt mat. We want that up. Uh, we want this turned on. I don't turn this all the way up, but um, I do turn it up a little bit. And again, these are all just for increasing the overall quality in the picture of everything. Anti-lazing. Uh, oh, that's only effective after restart. That's a big one. This smooths jagged lines. Which is good, especially if you're using HD texture packs and stuff, to just make it look even nicer. Again, I'm not going to turn that all the way, all the way up, even though I can handle it. There's no need to, so I'll just leave it at 8. Um, yeah, I want semi-transparent water. The random mobs is for texture packs that have more than one mob texture for a single mob. So, like, multiple types of looking zombies or whatever, whatever. Better grass, I'm actually going to turn on... Uh, which gives you side grass textures and it looks good but it interferes with some texture packs so if you have a texture pack actually no you know what? I'm gonna leave it off because I do use texture packs some texture packs interfere with it if you're not using texture packs then go for it um, s better snow is kind of the same way uh, blah, 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 blah. custom fonts swap colors are on smooth biomes of course if you turn that off, it'll help a little bit because it doesn't blend biomes together. So it gives you a little bit more speed. Connected textures is really good for um, certain texture packs that are that utilize that. Where instead of so you don't see those black lines as much between the blocks, and it kind of highlights everything for you. So that's nice to have. And everything else should pretty much be the same. You can turn off pretty much any animation that you want. Uh, especially explosion animation is nice because then it just all of a sudden there's a hole. So if your computer has trouble when you're trying to use TNT and stuff like that, that's a really big one for speeding up your computer. Performance. Smooth FPS. Sure. Smooth input on. Load far. Uh, this one's nice to have because it loads the chunks before you can even see them. So as you get to it, it should already be loaded. Uh, that's what the preload chunks is for as well. We're going to turn that all the way up because I want them to be loaded as far as possible. That will slow you down dramatically. A lot of these things will really add a lot of, uh, use. So only do it if you really, really want it. Um, I'm going to turn this up to three to help it load chunks faster. So that as you move, especially in creative, since you can fly, it's so that the stuff is appearing in front of you at the speed that you are moving, basically. Uh, more updates while the player... I don't know what this one does. It's standing still. Dynamic updates. Force more chunk updates while the player is standing still to load the world faster. Sounds good to me. And then the really nice thing about Optifine is that you can change your texture pack in the game. You don't have to like save your game, leave, and then come back. Or you don't have to just get off your server and come back. You can change it while in. So th I think that's one of the best features about it. What's another? Uh, oh, right. You can uh, Minecraft by default auto-saves 
like constantly. You can increase that time so it's not constantly auto saving, and um, that way that'll help you speed up a little bit. So there's that, and that's it for me. Weather off. That's a good one if you're trying to slow things down a bit. So I have to. So that's it for Optifine. Basically, that sets you up with everything that you need for Optifine. Um, give it a minute because it's it's saving a lot of information. The first time you change these settings, it has to create the the files and whatnot for it, and there's a lot going on with that. But once you, um, once it's once it creates all of that, then you should be good. Okay, it says it's saving level, but it's kind of jacked up. I know I have to restart it. Ugh, we're gonna have to close out Minecraft. I have to restart it for it to, uh, for some of those things to take effect. So hopefully it was just kind of freezing up because I have to restart it because I changed so many things at once. Might be a good idea to kind of play with it to find out what's gonna work best for you. So change a couple of things, see how your computer's reacting to it, and then change a few other things. And then check it, change a few other things to check it. Uh, okay, brand new world. We're going to let it load for a second. And then everything should smooth should smooth out. Press F3. It'll tell you what your frames per second are. Uh, right now, my frames per second are 10. So clearly, I'm not running as smooth as I should. Oh, that's right, because my memory allocation. No, my memory allocation is okay. I was going to say, it's, it's giving me a whole gig. Usually, I use um i use a batch file to increase the amount of memory that's allocated to minecraft which helps load everything but let's just presume that you're not going to do that and we'll change some of my video some of my settings to make everything a little bit better so uh oh wow that was far hold on let me turn f3 off because it's like in my damn face i think i had the render distance way farther than i normally keep it i think that's the problem uh, F3, get out of my face. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, because far is uh, 256 meters, which is more than I normally like. And I had it a lot farther than that. Where is normal? Normal is probably... Oh, okay, that was far plus. Holy crap. No wonder it was having so much trouble. So I'll just do slightly more than normal, but underneath a far. There we go. That was the problem. I was basically rendering out like half a kilometer. That's ridiculous. So, I'm doing 25 frames per second now, and I record in 30 frames per second. So, I would probably tweak this just a little bit more to get it above 30 frames per second because, like I said, I record in 30 frames per second, so I don't want it to be lower than that. But, basically, that's it. So, like I said, you're going to want to play with it as best as you can and just generally screw around with it to see what it is that you're going to be able to do to uh, get exactly where you need to be. Like I said, you want your... Um, whoa, there we go. You want your frames per second to be at least 30. So, yeah, just play with it. Do whatever you can do. And, all right, it's already up to 25. And once I restart, it'll probably be up to 30 because... I have to restart it for the one thing to take effect. So that's it, guys. So uh, Optifine gives you all kinds of options. Now you can do all those crazy things, and you can have your... Um, oh, I forgot it was on creative. <laughs> and you can have your HD texture packs and whatnot. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.